you all so much. I'm very excited to be doing these videos for you today. We are going to be learning how to do some kitchen drumming karate. If you remember before we went on this long break, um, we started using our drums at school. Now I know a lot of you don't have these wonderful fancy drums at school uh, at home, um, but we do have some things around our kitchen that we might be able to use um, to do our drumming instead of having our drums with our hands. Um, now maybe you don't have any of these supplies at home or maybe mom and dad don't want you rummaging around the kitchen um, using some of your kitchen supplies to do this drumming. You have two hands. You can do your taz and your titis on your lap. You can do taz and titis with your hands on a chair, on the floor, maybe sitting um, in front of the couch or with a pillow, something like that. So we can be very creative with how we decide to use our own body parts um, for our drumming uh, as well. But here are some of the things that you might have around your house that you can use for your uh, kitchen drumming karate uh, songs that we'll go over in the following videos. Maybe you have a plastic cup and maybe you have two straws. You can do your drumming on a cup with some straws. Your straws become your drumsticks. You can tap on the bottom of your cup with the straws. Maybe you only have a cup. You can use your hands on the top of the cup. Uh, maybe you only have straws. You can use the straws on your lap, on a chair, on the floor. Just make sure you don't use the straws to drink um, a drink after you've been playing with them. That would be icky. Okay? So maybe we don't have straws. Maybe we don't have a cup at home. But maybe we have two wooden spoons. You can use your wooden spoons on your lap, on a chair, on the floor on a pot maybe, on a plastic bowl, okay? Or maybe you have one of Miss Warmold's favorite snacks at home. Maybe you have a big tub of cheese balls and you can use your cheese ball container with your wooden spoons and you can do tas and tts on there. Um, maybe you don't have wooden spoons, that's okay. Maybe you have two spatulas. You can do tas and tts with your spatulas on your lap on a chair, on the floor, on your cheese ball container, on your plastic bowl, maybe on your big soup pot, okay? Make sure if you're using these kitchen utensils, make sure they get washed before we use them with food again. Um, maybe you don't have spatulas, maybe you have a pair of spoons. Um, you can use some spoons on your lap, on a chair, on the floor, on a plastic bowl, on a pot, Okay, so these are just some options, some ideas of things you might have around your house that you can use to do your kitchen drumming uh, karate songs. Um, I will be doing videos for all of the songs. Um, they will be posted to my webpage. If you have any questions, send me an email at lwarmald at nhschools.net. I hope to hear from you soon. Send me some pictures, uh, maybe some videos of you doing some of the drumming um, I'm very excited to hear from you, and I hope you have so much fun with uh, doing the drumming at home. Bye, guys. I'll see you soon.